the uh, death of actor Robin Williams, we all know, is definitely sparking some new conversations about suicide. And joining us this morning is Erin Ambrose. She is a marriage and family therapist. And uh, just tell us a little bit about what people are dealing with right now and what, what, with what we're seeing. It's really horrible. It's, um, however, it's, it's uh, made an opportunity for people to talk about something that isn't often talked about. Depression isn't talked about because of the stigma. Um, so it, it, at least we can take this opportunity to let people know to get help. Well, and that's why we wanted to have you in. Uh, you know, Robin Williams, funny guy happy guy right I mean and from all outward appearances extremely successful uh, so often people who take their lives we are surprised right because yeah. outward appearances everything looks great it looks great yeah. but you know inwardly well you know none of us are immune to having dark times right yeah although, although help me understand because uh, cl clearly he's in a play I mean everybody's sad I'm sad sometimes but right. clearly he was in some place that I, I, I have never even gotten a glimpse of right depression well, is yeah. different than just being in a right. bad mood right depression is is more about being in a bad mood consistently for at least two weeks or longer um, not being able to enjoy things that typically you've enjoyed in the past those are kind of the telltale signs to think about is yeah. that if you're not able to enjoy pleasurable things then that's a struggle um, yeah and, 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 and he had had his demons for a long time and, and we know right. that um, if uh, what I'd uh, be as, as proactive as possible here in this segment if you know somebody that's like that or if somebody suddenly is exhibiting these different signs mm -hmm. you know, what, what do you do what, what could someone have done for him um, well, you know, you will not cause someone to become suicidal by asking. And mm. sometimes I think people are afraid to ask. That's interesting. But I think it's really important to ask if, if you notice a loved one is, is withdrawing, if they are um, pulling away and if they're not able to engage with you in the n ways that they normally have, ask them, you know, ask them how they're doing. Ask them if they're struggling, if they're having thoughts of suicide. You know, I keep thinking about his wife and how she must be feeling and how people who, who are close to someone who commits suicide right. they always ask themselves the question is there something that I could have done right. I mean how do you get over something like this that, it, that's a different question that yeah. is a really hard thing you know to recognize that it was his decision as hard of a decision as that was it was his decision so for the people who are left behind I think we need to hold on to that that you know they made their decision and it, there might not have been anything that person could have done to to save him. Uh, real quick before we go, I, I think we have a tendency in this country to think, well, you know, there's a there's a medication for everything. If I just had the right pill, and, and from sadly my fairly close experience with some people who are mentally ill, mm -hmm. um, there are some meds that help some people, and there's some people that is depression is there anything that is, is there, there are some great antidepressants out there yeah. um, however everybody's chemistry is a little bit different yeah. so even if someone has tried an antidepressant and it didn't work go back to your doctor have them try a different one you know our chemistry could be that you need a different kind yeah, okay all right, well, Aaron, so Aaron thank you for coming in to help us a, a little bit here. And uh, we will link your website. I know it's, uh, 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 let me see, Cali uh, counselingcalifornia.com right. to get to you and get more information. And we appreciate uh, a little of your time this morning.